हेलो स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम टू जी सी कनेक्ट सेलेक्शन नंबर ट्वेंटी वन सो नेटवर्क थेरी एटीन इसी थर्टी टू सो विल कंटिन्यू विथ नेक्स्ट टॉपिक इन द सब्जेक्ट सो दैट इज सोर्स ट्रांसफॉर्मेशन सो विल स्टार्ट विथ द कॉन्सेप्ट ऑफ सोर्स ट्रांसफॉर्मेशन सो जस्ट आई विल बेसिकली गिव द इंट्रोडक्शन फर्स्ट बेसिक एग्जाम्पल देन विल सॉल्व फॉर वॉट द मेरिकल्स टाइटल इज वॉट सोर्स ट्रांसफॉर्मेशन so in the basic uh, classes i have discussed uh, about this topic so like uh, by taking one simple example today also i'll start with the same basic example how to convert uh, uh, voltage source with uh, series resistance to a current source with a uh, parallel resistance or vice versa so this process is called what source transformation so usually voltage source uh, is in with a series resistor and then current source is in with a parallel resistor so we need to convert this voltage source uh, to a current source or current source to a voltage source so we'll consider one uh, basic example here so consider the circuit which consists of voltage source and with a series resistance of some value right so this is what uh, 5 ohm So this is what 10 volts. We need to convert this into what a current source. We know the ohms law, right? So what is that ohms law? Says that V equal to I into R, right? So in this circuit we have V, that is voltage, as well as R series resistance. This is also called as RS series resistance, right? Now we need to convert into what current source. Therefore I equal to what V by R. now we have the value v as well as r so we can easily calculate the i so therefore you see the uh, signs of this voltage source here it is plus and minus remember always so if you convert that to voltage source sign will come in this way plus sign with a cap or top arrow direction this is what the current source the thing is that the resistance in the voltage source is will what in the series but with the current source it will become what parallel resistor with the same value this will become what rp but this is equal to rs only so which is fine now we need to write the value of this what is this value so this is what v by r what is the v value here 10 what is r value here 5 therefore the value is what 2 the value of current source is what 2 amperes right so this is how the voltage source with a series resistance can be uh, transformed or converted into a current source with a parallel resistance right so in the same way so we'll consider the same example again so we'll consider one uh, current source say 2 ampere right so with a parallel resistance that is rp is equal to 5 ohm right so now we need to convert this into what a voltage source with a series resistance so again we have the ohms law v is equal to i into r right so i want v so i know the value of i as well as what r value so i value is how much 2 r value is how much 5 so therefore it will be what 10 volts remember this is upward direction so if i convert to voltage source from current source the top direction indicates plus sign so this is a sign of voltage source remember this resistor now will become what rs that is in the series so this will become what 5 ohm this will be oh how much 10 volts So we have converted the 10 volts with a 5 ohm resistor in series to current source. Again, in this case, uh, we have converted the current source into what uh, voltage source with a series resistance. This is how. So we need to convert voltage source to current source or current source to voltage source. So this is the basic procedure, right? Remember, always uh, voltage source with a series resistance can be converted into. a uh, current source in parallel resistance this is very very important right so i have mentioned here voltage source with a series resistance 
current source with the parallel resistance can be what converted into what voltage source or current source vice versa right if you want to convert voltage source to current source so i need to get i value so from the ohm's law v by r if you want to convert the current source into voltage source from the ohm's law we have v equal to i into r calculate the value of v uh, rewrite that voltage source in the place of current source so write the series resistance in the case of voltage source in the case of current source write the resistance in the parallel that's it right so move on to the next uh, point so that is we'll move to the numericals now so we'll see the problem statement so what is that use use source transformation use source transformation to convert to convert a single single current source current source in parallel with parallel with a resistor parallel with a resistor so let us see the circuit diagram now what exactly the circuit diagram they have given this is minus plus voltage source the series resistance 4 then have one more current source here then one more resistor here these ends are a and b right value of this one voltage source will be 9 volts this is 4 ohm this is 5 amperes this is 4 ohm right now uh, what they have asked here use source transformation so you need to use source transformation only to convert a single current source in parallel resistance means that at the end so either we have a current source uh, with a parallel resistors this kind of answer they require so you need to find what is this current source what is the resistor value at the end right so that direction current direction may be upward or down, downward direction depends on the values what we will get we'll see one by step by step now okay now see here so in the given circuit uh, what all source transformation can be done here uh, see the circuit diagram here there is a voltage source with a 9 volts value and series resistance is there right so this can be converted this can be converted into what a single a current source with a parallel resistance but what we need at the end current source in parallel resistor we require this kind of answer we want right so therefore we will convert this voltage source into what a current source huh? now it is a voltage source with a series resistance now we need to convert a current source into what parallel resistance right we want i value right so i want i value so i can be given as v by r what is the value of v here 9 what is the r value 4 how much you will get it is 2.25 amperes right now we should uh, rewrite this part of the circuit as a current source with a 2.25 amperes with a parallel resistance of 4 ohm right so this one we need to right but the thing here is that the direction of current source should be written properly see here minus sign is here upper side a plus sign is what lower side so therefore the circuit looks like this current source with a downward direction what is the value 2.25 2.25 amperes right 
but the same 4 ohm resistance will become in parallel this is compulsory so this will become what 4 ohm the remaining circuit part will be same as it is this will be as it is how much it is 5 amperes and then one more resistor is there this will be as it is this is A this is B and this is 4 ohm so this much is what the first step from this circuit to this circuit now how to reduce this complete circuit into what a single current source with a resistor now see here this resistance and this resistance are in parallel so I can rewrite this uh, circuit again uh, see here our current source in this way I will uh, rewrite this uh, current source side by side again there is nothing wrong if you write like this further so I can rewrite these two resistor parallelly side by side so this is A this is B this is 2.25 amperes this is 5 amperes this is 4 ohm this also 4 ohm right now we know that when two current shows are in parallel can easily add it so this uh, these concepts I have discussed in the basic class when two current shows are in parallel this can be what reduced by adding them right since both current shows are in downward direction so 5 ohm also in downward direction 2.25 amperes also in downward direction so these two current shows are in parallel but in the same direction the resultant will be in the downward direction only but result will be what add them 5 plus 2.25 so this will be what 7.25 amperes but we need to write a, a resistor in parallel right this will be what a this will be what b but how these two resistors are connected how these two resistors are connected parallel what is the result out of it so resistors are connected in parallel will be what given as R1 R2 divided by R1 plus R2 when two resistors are connected the resultant will be what product divided by sum of two resistors so this will be what 4 into 4 all divided by 4 plus 4 so this can be written as 16 by 8 so this will be what 2 ohm therefore this resistor will be what 2 ohm right so at the end so we got the result as the, this circuit can be written with a single uh, current source with a, a parallel resistance the answer is what 7.25 uh, current source is in parallel with 2 ohm resistors in between the terminals A and B this is how we need to convert that uh, required required forms of circuit using source transformation okay okay rest all the numericals with this uh, respect to this topic will be covered in the next class thank you